All right, solving exponential equations when you have the same base number. Um, these are pretty much where you'd begin when you're solving exponential equations. And uh, I have an example here: two x to the sixteen, or two to the x equals sixteen, which is fairly easy. I mean, you can kind of think about that. To make sixteen, that's two times two times two times two. Whoa. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times two is sixteen. So we know the answer is 2 to the 4th power. So x is equal to 4. Another way to look at it is, uh, is, is right. Convert this number to that same base. So 16 we know is 2 to the 4th. So we got 2 to the x equals 2 to the 4th. So x has to be 4 because these two bases are the same. So that's, that's how you'd look at that problem. Now, let's change this up a little bit. So now we've got something that's a little more, little more difficult. We've got 2 to the x minus 2 equals 32. Well, let's go ahead and convert that 32 to base 2. And uh, in this case, we would have, uh, you know, 2 to the fifth power. Because 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. So we've got 2 to the x minus 2 equals 2 to the fifth. Well, since these bases are the same, that means these two things are the same. Not my answer yet, but they're equal. So x minus 2 has to be equal to 5 in order to make this work. Well, you'd excuse me, add 2 to the other side, and so x has to be 7 in this case. Ah. Start over. X has to be 7. And so you could plug that back in and see what you'd have. Well, 2 to the 7 minus 2, that's 5. So 2 to the 5th, well, that's 32. So that kind of checks your answer. So we're good to go there. So X is 7. There's that example. Now the last one I have listed here is what happens if it's 1 third X equals 81? Well, 3 is my base number, and we've got some changing to do on both sides. 81, I think, here is 3 to the 4th power. And again, just take just to kind of go through them to make sure. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3 is 27, times 3 is 81. Or 9 times 9 is 81. So yes, 3 to the 4th is right. Now, 1 over 3 to the x power, we need to get that 1 third so it's a base... Um, so that it's a base 3, right? Right now it's a base 1 third. Well, to make it base 3, 1 third could be written as 3 to the negative 1 power, then to the x. So if you're unsure of that, look up videos on negative exponents. That's where you're going to find, um, you know, find why that occurs. It's not magic, not doing any type of witchcraft, just uh, check that out. And so power to power, then, if you know your rules of exponents, that would be 3 to the negative x equals 3 to the 4th. And so negative x equals 4. And, you, you know, if there's not a number here, you can put a 1 there. So that's negative 1 times x. So we're going to divide by negative 1 on both sides of the equation to finish it out, or multiply by negative 1. And x is equal to negative 4. And you could plug that in. I mean, get your calculator and do a one-third to the negative four power and see if you get 81. And uh, that, that will conclude that. That's um, kind of what we're looking at if they're the same base. I might come up with one more. Give me one second. One second. Okay. Here it is. Five, five to the four X minus seven equals one over 125. So again, we have the same base brewing here. 125 has a base of 5. Uh, 125 is 5 and 25 and 5 and 5. So 125 is 5 to the 3rd. So we're okay on this side. We've got 5 to the 4x minus 7. On this side, we have 1 over 5 to the 3rd. Again, 1 over 5 to the 3rd, we could use a negative exponent, so we have a base 5. And so what we'd have is 5 to the 4x minus 7 equals 5 to the negative third. Um, 
And so 4x minus 7 has to be negative 3. And you go ahead and solve that. So plus 7 plus 7. 4x equals 4. Wow. And so x is equal to 1. So I kind of made that up. I'm pretty impressive that it came out even, but that's fine. So x is 1, and you can check that out. Um, you know, see if you get 1 one twenty fifth if you go five to the four minus seven so that'd be five to the negative third oh we've already kind of shown that five to the negative third is one over one twenty five and so it checks out true and we're done so that's uh... solving exponential equations if your base is the same problem is that's not always the case and rarely the case and so the next videos will be about solving exponential equations um, that do not have the same base and so it's time to pull out the big guns which would be in this case logarithms so good luck see you next time